Hi, welcome to a new episode of The Young and the Restless. We open up at a coffee house with Nick and Sharon discussing in their business trips. And Sharon asks what's bothering Nick. And he plays it off and says that it's just business, but Sharon doesn't buy it. Then we see Adam runs after Sally to the athletic club. And Adam wants to know why Nick wants to rip his head off. Then we see Ch- at the chance the house, Abby and Devon prepare to go to the jazz lounge to dine with Mimi and the family. Then we see at Lily, she tries to convince Daniel to be her date. But Daniel thinks that he should shouldn't be involved in family things and reminds Lily that he has a meeting with the creative team. Then we see at Newman Nate invites Victoria to join him for the family get together but Vic questions if he's going to war with Devon and Lily says he, her being there will piss him off. Then we see Jack and Mamie at the jazz lounge. They greet each other and Jack questions what she is up to and Jack is going crazy trying to figure out what's the mystery. Then we see Vic doesn't think that it's a good idea for her to be a part of the family dinner because of Devon and Lily's dislike for her. Nate promises that everyone will be civil for the sake of Aunt Mamie. Then we see Mamie tells Jack about her investment in Chancellor Winters and Jack hopes that she is prepared for the roadblock with Jill. Then we see Nick tells Sharon about Adam and Sally kissing and Nick goes off to blame Adam for everything. And Sharon tells him confronting Adam won't help and Nick says that it's best he avoid Adam because he will do something that might have him in prison. Then we see Sally refuses to tell Adam what happened in the park with Nick and says that he needs to leave it alone and Adam tells her that he needs to know where he stands with Nick because he's trying to fix things with his family. And Sally claims that Adam is trying to Adam trying to rectify things with his family is a complete lie. And she claims that Adam can never change because he can let go of her, nor can he get let go of Newman, media, or anything else. Says all does Adam does is blow up things. Then we see Sharon defends that love is love and you can't just turn it off because Sally and Adam shared a child. Nick thinks that Adam can't love Sally. She's just a trophy to him. I'm like, really, Nick? Then we see Sharon asks if the kiss between Adam and Sharon and Sally triggered something emotionally for Sally. And then we see Mimi says until Jill finds out she's gonna do what she wants and says that it's gonna take her over the top when she does. Then we see Jack asks what else Mimi got up her sleeve and Mimi leaves to accept her guest and it's Lily. And as Lily comes in, Jack leaves to go plan his wedding celebration with Diane. Boring. We don't want to see that. Then we see Mimi comments that Diane has turned her life around. As he leaves, we see Nate and Vic also arrives. And Lily sits aside and screws. Then reflects on her last fight with Nate about Victoria and him being together. Then Abby and Devon arrives. And then we see Sharon questions why Nick has gone quiet. And then he confessed that the case has affected Sally. Nick then changes the subject and doesn't want to admit that Sally is still in love with Adam. And it reflects on Shadow. He sits there and reflects on how Sharon's qualities are great. And it's what attracted him to her. I'm like, yes, that is what you need to do, Nick. Focus on Sharon. Sally is not for you. Then we see Sally lets Adam know that they were just friends. And he ruined it by kissing her. Then we see Adam explains that it was a mistake and Sally vents that Adam is ripping her world apart. Then Adam realizes that Sally is not just talking about Nick's reaction to the kiss. She's talking about herself. Then we see Sally continues to blame Adam instead of confronting her feelings and tells him that there is no us. Tells him to stay away from her and Nick. Adam says okay. And Adam doesn't believe that him just kissing Sally made Nick frantic and questions if his kiss triggered her emotions. Sally tells him enough doesn't make it more than it is 
and tells Adam to stay out of her head and runs off. Then we see Mimi welcomes and does her speech. Then she announced that she'll return to GC to bring the family back together. Then we see Sally in her room pacing on the floor, reflecting on her fight with Nick. She picks up the phone, calls Nick. Nick takes a while to answer, then he answers. And he tells Sally that he's working with Sharon. And he questions if Adam bothered her again and Sally wants to talk. And he tells her that he's working and trying to avoid her. She apologizes and then he agrees that they need to talk and decide. He decides to go see her. Then we see Mimi also announce the purchase of her investment in Chancellor Winters. And Mary cheers for Nate working with Victor. But she wants Nate to come back to Chancellor Winters. And Lily get frantic and said, say what now? Then we see Nick walks into the club and he sees Adam at the bar, reflects on Sally confessing about her feelings for Adam and he goes over and converts Adam and he threatens to that Adam needs to leave Sally alone and says that his patience is running out of the limit and what he's going to do to Adam. Adam apologizes and takes accountability. Then we see Nick goes up to Sally's room and tells her that he saw Adam downstairs but he didn't do anything but warn him to stay away and he says that adam apologized and took accountability however he thinks that it's adam mind games so what nick and says that adam just wants him to let his guard down and sally claims that adam is lasting on her mind and asks if they are okay nick says that he doesn't know it depends on what's in her heart and nick asks her for the truth and sally claims that she is falling in love with nick grabs him and hugs him but we can see nick shows no reaction then adam goes to see sharon at the coffee house and sharon questions why he has to mess things up for everyone who he has harmed they deserve it sharon then adam says nick has every right to be upset adam says that nick is fooling himself and thinks that sally isn't in love with nick says that Sally is still in love with me. Then we see Mamie tells Lily that they need to leave the anger to the past and asks that they invite Nate back to the company. Lily says, what do you mean by we? Lily questions what exactly are her intentions with Chancellor Winters. Then Jill comes in and says that she's also curious about it herself. Thanks for watching. Bye.